You've done well, Baron Malgras. You've led us straight to Detherock's stronghold. But tell me, who are those humans? Detherock used his telepathy to enslave a top-ranking human warlord. I believe his name was Garabon or Gilavos or something. Human names all sound the same to me. Instead of stamping it out, Detherock has taken control of the last pocket of human resistance. They maintain their own army within the keep. Your brother is more clever than I thought. His defenses are considerable. Yes. And with this paltry force you've mustered, a direct assault on his walls would be suicide. I have no intention of assaulting the walls. Then let's go before he... My banshees will possess those hapless humans. We'll use them to open the gates for us. You realize we'll have only a short amount of time before he discovers what we're up to? Of course. If we strike quickly enough, Netherrock will never know what hit him. To arms! Whom do you serve, human? The Dark Lady. I am hers to command. The patrol has returned. Open the gates. Ready yourselves. The moment is upon us. Now, my warriors, strike! What's up, late? Two bases with impunity, but it's only a matter of time before the other is alerted to our presence. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fifth level of the Undead Campaign in Warcraft 3 The Frozen Throne And uh, this is a relatively fun level to play as we get to destroy the majority of any of the two bases that we wish And um, we're gonna start off with the human base we're going to be starting off with the human base primarily because, number one, uh, I find it a little bit easier to take on the undead base, and number two, the humans don't benefit from our, the uh, yeah, the humans don't benefit from our upgrades if we possess them. So it's going to be a much better idea for us to possess undead units instead of human units. So we're not going to waste any time, we are just going to do as much damage to um, the humans as we possibly can. And on the fortunate side, we don't have to destroy every single building. We are just primarily going to focus on uh, the production buildings that they've got in order to, if we should run out of time, random, render them useless to do anything. So in the meantime, make a uh, five acolytes in order to go to the gold mine to the far left side. And uh, start the uh, start of the gold mine on that side. Now it is uh, completely neutral. There aren't any creeps defending that area, so we're just going to set up the gold mine and then afterwards build around three ziggurats in order to have a little bit of defense. At the same time, while of this is happening, we are going to make at least four banshees that uh, we're going to be using later on when the timer runs out in order to defend our base. What I mean by that is we're going to be possessing a couple of the undead forces that attack us afterwards. So I'll also no need to make like super defenses or anything. We're just going to use the scroll of town portal in order to quickly run back when it's needed. Uh, like in the previous level, we are going to be investing in a couple of Crypt Fiends. As, uh, yeah, there are going to be some narrow areas to fight in again, once again. But also Crypt Fiends do do a lot of damage, so we are going to be benefiting from that a lot. For Lord Garrett, the Lord Detherark. I bow. I wish you all well. to serve the order. Okay, another banshee. So we definitely want to get rid of the scout towers as well because they do change into guide towers afterwards. So we don't want to exactly have to deal with that annoyance. They're not tough towers, but nonetheless, it's not something that we really want to deal with. Show me a target. Spare no one. The Dreadlord's forces must not escape. I'm here. 
Okay, so this base is everyone done with. Okay, so this base is basically out of the way, so now we can start moving to the lower side. Get rid of the rest of it there. Uh, one more bench is all that we need. Remember to put curse off, keep those upgrades flowing. Wood is not a problem for us. And uh, yeah, so now we're going to get to face Garethos. Now something to keep in mind about Garethos, he's an incredibly tough uni um, human opponent. Um, he's got uh, Holy Light ability, he's got um, Warhammer attack, uh, the, the Stormbolt attack. So he's got a lot of special stuff that he can use against you, but on top of it all, he's got the Mountain King ability as well. So yeah. We, we kind of want to make sure that he doesn't get to the Mountain King ability in which he usually activates around losing half of his life. <clears throat> Excuse me. So in order to stop that from happening, what we're going to be doing is um, silence him with Sylvanas. Do as much damage and just like a couple of seconds in, just before it is about to expire, we are just going to activate... Um, we are just going to activate the sleep ability, which is, yeah, then basically going to put him uh, to sleep long enough for us to use our silence ability once again. Okay, so this has been successfully pulled. Show us a target victory to Lord Dethera. You must be the human in command of this rebel. I am Garethos. I am sworn to defend the master with my life. You poor, confused creature. There we go. He should be able to kill him. Even if he does activate his Mountain King ability, it's going to be too late. Perfect. So we managed to do this without losing too many units and without having to waste too much time having to kill him too. So yeah, from here on out, it's going to be easy getting rid of the rest. Definitely get those up and running. We might get an unexpected attack. So a little bit of extra defense is really gonna help. Um, oh yeah. Keep on making those upgrades. We can invest in a slaughterhouse by now. Yeah, we still have enough time. Don't worry. Like a couple of peasants that still need to be killed and then, yeah. This base is basically useless. Almost time to head back. Yes. Hello. Show us a target. I'm your one. Where do you want it? Come on, show me. On our way. Of course. It's time to even the scales. Push the attack. I'm here. Summon is you really out of time. Not out of time yet. Let's get to fight. Show us a We're gonna leave these the mortar master. teams here to just clear out everything else. And then head back. Where do you want us? We're out of time. Both bases have been alerted to our presence. We've got to bolster our defenses before they launch their counterattack. Yeah, 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 don't worry. We're heading back right now. Let's get to fight. We'll do it Without the mortar team. 
Dagorak will send his forces soon. We must be ready. We're ready. Brought me back. Hello. I'm listening. Why have I been so time to even the scales? Give me back. I'm listening. Okay, capture things like crypt fiends. So join our calls. Another crypt fiend. I believe there's going to be a frost. Ah, there we go. Capture the frost worm with Sylvanas' ability. And when Deathrock finally comes, we're just going to silence his ass. Lord Deathrock. How could you be we miss him? like this? We could have ruled this land together. Sylvanas has greater strength than you know, brother. I'll take my chances with her. You are clever, Sylvanas, but you are no match for me. Just focus fire him, get him out of the way. Alright, so there we have it. Not a problem. Deathrock's forces is taken care of, and uh, let's see what other buildings urgent thing needs to be destroyed. Nothing really, to be honest. Okay, so yeah, level 6 ability of uh, Verimathras is the Doom God ability, so really, really powerful attacks to have that we can use as much as we want. From here on out, it's basics. Make like a couple of necromancers. Uh, we have our slaughterhouse. Ah, there we go. Okay, I managed to. Great, so Deathrock's base is not a problem for us anymore. Slay the upstarts in Deathrock's name. And now we're just basically gonna make an army. And yeah. Start attacking immediately. There aren't any special items that we need to go and look for. There aren't any major stuff to benefit from, so so yeah. Of course. I bow to your Where shall my For Lord Garrett, the Lord Deathrock. Okay, so um, maybe two more Crypt Fiends would be fine. Other than that, we want to invest in the Abominations because of uh, Verimathras' Vampiric Aura. Where do you want us? Uh, also, a very nice thing to do for him is have him invest in a couple of these items. Stuff like that. Where do you want us? Uh, fountain of health I'm over here that can be quite handy. Hello. The dead shall serve. Show me target. I'm here. And now we wait. What does Hello. the shadow will? I'm listening. The dead oh, shall serve. Lord, obey. This better sleeper awakes. I'm the here. Dead shall serve. Okay, so we don't have the abomination upgrade yet, but we still have the vampiric aura on our side. I'm here. Let's get so we can actually just go for a frontal assault. Those skeletons are going to be very, very valuable for us. Let's get to Show us a target. See what damage we can do. Let's get to fight. See if we can get their attention. The dark lady is here. We must push her forces back. Exactly the narrow areas that I was speaking about earlier. Now our crypt fiends are at the back, and they're gonna do a ton of damage in the meantime. And we do benefit from having upgrades ahead of them. So yeah, we're doing incredibly well thus far. Do do? 
Nah, not needed. We want to save for uh, our silence ability in case that Death Rock comes out to play. Oh, I forgot about the doom doom guide that we can make use of. Push the attack. Hello, we're under attack. The dead shall serve. It's not unnecessarily you lose these mortar teams. Okay, so far so good. Made a lot of progress. Next up is Death of Rock's base, and then yeah, over and done with. Mission accomplished. Restless dead. Show us a target. I've no time for games. What does Where the shadow want will? The moment is upon us. By any means necessary. Show me this better be good. It's time to even the Let's scales. get to fighting. The restless dead await. I await your counsel. I'll do what I must. Starts in Death Rock's name. Let's get some fight target. I've no time for games. Where is Death Rock? I'm surprised that he's not joining the fight. You have an idea. Very surprised, in fact. Victory draws near. Yeah, where? Look, ah, oh, there we go. He's he's back at the base. My will cannot be denied. That's okay. You 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 go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna completely destroy your base in the meantime, and I'm gonna win this fight. In order just to play safe, just gonna make an Acropolis for in case of emergencies because we can only teleport back to town portals. Starts 
in Deathrot's name. Our town is under attack. Oh, you're just not doing it. Rush headlong to your deaths. No, we're not. What are you talking about? You're rushing headlong into your dead. Mission accomplished. The spell has been lifted. Is the nightmare finally over? Stand down, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What is it you want, elf witch? We have a common enemy. The last Dreadlord Balnazar currently controls the capital city of your kingdom. If you help me kill him, I'll see to it that you get your lands back. Why should we trust you? You're part of the scourge that drove us out in the first place. Not anymore. My only interest here is vengeance. Ah, very well. I'll rally what's left of my forces and meet you outside the gates. Come now. You have no intention of giving them their lands back. Of course not. The humans are simply a means to an end. You sound more like one of us with every passing day, my lady. Watch it, Dreadlord. Alright, so there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was the end of the fifth level of the Undead campaign. One more for the Forsaken to go. And then that chapter has been set aside. As you can see, this level was level was relatively easy, especially because we had the elements of surprise. And then dealing with Death Rock afterwards, not a problem, especially because Sylvanas is such an incredibly strong hero to have in the game. As always, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Refer to your friends who would like to learn some Warcraft and how to beat the game on hard difficulty. And I'll see you for the sixth level next time.